guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about the this keyword in Java. You may have seen the this keyword in your code and been super confused. Today, we're gonna clear up that confusion. Let's go ahead and get started. This is a reference to the current object. Using the this keyword, you can access most members of current objects, including fields and methods. Before we go any further, let's take a look at some code. Here we have the student class. We have three instance variables, first name, last name, and age, and we have a constructor. The first thing we're gonna do is add some code to this constructor, and we're gonna be using the this keyword to initialize the student instance we're going to create. And to do that, we're gonna add some parameters. And so we're gonna have string first name, which is gonna be the value we want our instance to have for the first name field, and then we're gonna have last name, which will be the value we want for the instance we are creating for the last name field, and then the same thing with age. With the parameters in place, we can access the fields of the student object we are creating through the this keyword. This stands for the current student object we are initializing. In order to initialize the student object, we must initialize its fields. So here we access the current object we are making with the this keyword. And as a result, we have access to its properties, its fields. The first field we're gonna access is first name. And what do we wanna set this to? What do we wanna initialize as the value for the first name field? Well, it's gonna be the value of our parameter, first name. And so we'll put in the name of our parameter, first name, which matches up with this here. You can probably see that our field first name has the same name as our parameter first name. That's what makes the this keyword useful. It can disambiguate our fields or instance variables from our local variables and our parameters. Now let's keep going and initialize the rest of the instance variables or fields for this object we are creating. And so we'll go this.lastName equals our last name, the value of the parameter, and then this.age, the age field, we want to set that equal to our age parameter or the value of our age parameter. Again, the this keyword refers to the current object we are making. So to access the current object's fields, we just have to go this dot and then the field we wanna access. Now that we've used the keyword in our constructor, let's try using it in an instance method. Here, we'll create a method that returns a string with the student instance's first and last name. We're gonna call it get student name, and we're just gonna return this.firstName, and so whatever instance is calling this method, we're gonna use the first name of that instance and then the last name of that instance. And we're all, we're accessing the instance that is calling this method through that this keyword. With this code in place, let's try creating some student objects and then calling the getStudentName method in the main class. And so we'll go over to this main class I've set up here. This is where we're gonna run our code. This is our body shop, as I've said before, and we're gonna write student, student1. And so here we're just creating some variables, some references to the students where we are going to construct. And we'll have student Allison is gonna be the first name, Parker is gonna be the last name, and then we'll have the age 16, and then we'll have another student, we'll give it the variable name, student two, we're gonna use that constructor, and in this case, we're gonna have Steve, last name will be Smith, and we'll say age 10. Then we're gonna go ahead and print out each student's full name. And so we'll use that get student name method. And so we'll say student one, again, that's the reference to the student that we created here. It's the variable name. We'll do dot get student name. And then student two, get student name. And we're gonna need to do this on another line just so it's a little bit more spaced out in our console, student name. We'll go ahead and run this. And here we have the full names in the console, Allison Parker, Steve Smith, it's exactly what we expect. But what is going on here? 
like in this get student name method, we were using the this keyword. How did it know, you know, this meant student one or this meant student two? Well, it just depended on which instance called that method. So in this case, student one, which is the Allison Parker age 16 student, that instance called get student name. So if we go into the implementation of get student name, this evaluated to student one. So essentially we were accessing the instance that called this method when we were using the this keyword. So this is referring to student one. When we called it the get student name method with student two, student two was calling the get student name method and in the implementation, the this keyword was referring to student two. It all depended, again, it all depended on which instance called the method. That's how we'll know what this evaluates to. We won't know until it's actually called by the specific instance. Whatever instance calls the get student name method, that instance is what this evaluates to. That's what the this keyword evaluates to. I hope that makes sense. It can be super confusing at times. Now let's go back to our student class and we're gonna create a method that allows you to increment the age of the student. And we're gonna make this a private method so that you can only use it in the student class. And so we're gonna call it increment age. And I can go into private versus public versus protected. I can go through all of these access modifiers. If you're interested, just leave a comment down below. Um, and the implementation of this is gonna be, we're gonna use that this keyword again, so whatever you know, instance is calling the increment age function, that's what this, the this keyword will evaluate to. And then we're just gonna increment it by one there. You could also do this, it's just the shorter syntax um, that you can do. With this created, we can use it in the other methods of our class. So let's say I wanted to do public student student grows and so in this case I'm creating a method called student grows it's going to return a student and inside of this method we're going to go this dot increment age so we're going to increment the age of the student that calls this method and so again so this is kind of two levels of the this keyword and then we're going to return this whoa that's what we're doing here but what does it mean so here we are calling an instance method increment age on the current object that is calling the student grows method. We'll call this from, we'll do this from the main class so it makes more sense in a bit, but the current object that is calling student grows, we are calling increment age on that object. And once we've called increment age on that object, we return the object itself with the, this keyword. So let's go to the main class and test this out. We are gonna write system.out.println. We're gonna first print out the student one's age. And in this case, we just go student one dot age because there's no, because it's public. So we're able to just directly access it. Then we're gonna write student, older student. So we're creating a new variable and what are we gonna have that equal to? We're gonna have it equal the student that student grows returns. And so student grows returns a student. We're gonna go ahead and save that in the older student variable and have a reference to that student we are returning with the student grows method. Then we'll go ahead and print out the age of the older student. as well as the original student one. Now, this is a bit interesting because student one, if we go into the student grows method, we student one is calling student grows. And so this will, um, the, this keyword will evaluate to student one. We increment student one's age by one and then return student one again. So going back to our main class, 
the result of calling student grows on student one will be student one itself because in this case we take in student one that's what this the this keyword evaluates to we increment the age of student one and then we return that same student so here older student and student one are accessing the same student object so here the older student's age will equal student one's age. And if we go even further, student one should equal older student. They're referencing the same object. And then if we go even further and do dot equals student, older student, this should return true as well. We'll see that in fact, student one and older student are referencing the same exact object because the student grows method returns this. This evaluates to student one. Therefore, student one is the same, you know, reference. It's referencing the same object as older student because we set older student equal to whatever student grows returns, which happens to be whatever calls student grows itself. So that's an overview of the this keyword. We used this to refer to a current object's instance variables, to invoke a current object's instance methods, and to return the current instance. We also looked at references and saw how the older student in student one referred to the same object because the student grows method used the this keyword to return the current instance. Ultimately, the this keyword is the name of the current instance that is calling an instance method or is being constructed in a constructor. The this keyword also helps us disambiguate instance fields from parameters and local variables and method implementations. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. I hope you learned something new in this video and be sure to subscribe if you want more technical tutorials. There are a couple freebies in the description box down below and thanks for watching. Happy coding!